Looking for an easy way to add your business email signature to Gmail or Mailbird? In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create an amazing business email signature and how to put it in Gmail or Mailbird. Now, first up, what is a business email signature? Essentially, it's a business card that you hand to someone in your inbox. It's a way for you to introduce yourself, especially if you're just sending an email to someone who's never gotten an email from you before. And it's a great way to brand your team as you do outreach or as you network with other people through emails. Now, first up, here are some tips that you should follow when you're creating a business email signature. Number one is use brand colors. You wanna make sure that your brand is represented via color. People normally see colors before they see text. So you wanna make sure that you use your brand colors wisely. Try not to use more than two or three brand colors. Otherwise your business email signature will look clustered. So here's an example of how to use your brand colors for your business email signature. Number two, limit the information. When it comes to your business email signature, again, it's almost like a mini business card that you're handing to people. Less is always more. Avoid making your business email signature look clustered or filled with too much information. If people have to read too much data, then they're not gonna pay attention to what you're offering on your business email signature. Here's an example of how to lay out your information for your business email signature. Number three, add a headshot or GIF. If you'd like, it's not mandatory, but it's always helpful to add a headshot of your picture so people know who they're talking to. This helps, again, for people to associate you with your brand and with your position so that whenever they receive an email, they see a friendly face that's greeting them. You can also add a GIF if you wanna spice things up a bit on your business email signature. Here's an example of how to add a really good headshot to your business email signature. You wanna make sure that your headshot is clear, clean, and professional. Think about the type of headshot that you would use or the type of image you'd use for your LinkedIn profile and you can add that to your business email signature. Number four, include your logo. Your logo is just as important as your brand colors. It shouldn't take up too much space, but it should be visible so that people know what brand you're associated with. If you're a freelancer, you can be sure to just add your name or you can create your own logo and you can add it to your business email signature. Next, share your company information. I know it sounds like a no-brainer, but always be sure to add a phone number, email address, or location so that people can know where to find you. So maybe they decided that they wanna learn more about your company. That could be your website. Maybe they'd like to visit your office. That could be your address. Or maybe they'd like to call to have a meeting. That could be your phone number. Always remember to add the essential company information. Last but not least, Ensure to make your business email signature mobile friendly. A mobile friendly business email signature is very helpful. So when you're designing it either for yourself or sending your business email signature designs to your design team, you want to make sure that if someone views your business email signature on their desktop or on their mobile phone, that they're able to see the text, interact with the icons, and read all the information clearly and easily because not everyone checks their emails on their desktop. Some of us use our mobile phones. Okay, now that we know what makes a great business email signature, let's talk about how you can add that amazing business email signature to Gmail. So first, you're gonna open up Gmail and then top right where you see settings, you're gonna click settings then you're going to scroll to all settings. Then you're going to scroll till you see the signature section. You can either add your signature in the text box or you can upload the image that you've created for your business email signature. You can change the size to make sure that it looks right and then click save at the bottom. Once you've saved your business email signature, be sure to open a new email to see what your business email signature looks like. Maybe it's too big, maybe it's too small, or it's not as aligned as you thought it would be. This is the perfect time to make sure that you go back into your settings and make the changes that you'd like. Now, I'm gonna show you how to add your business email signature in Mailbird. Open Mailbird, and once you're at the main screen, click the Options button on the top left, and then click Settings. 
From there, you're gonna see the left menu, click on identities. Find your email account on the right. Because Mailbird allows you to have multiple email accounts, you wanna make sure that you add your email business signature to the right account. Once you've found it, select it, click edit. Upload your new email business signature into the signature section, and then click OK or save. That's it. Now you know how to add your business email signature in Mailbird, and just like in Gmail, you want to open up a new email to test to see what that business email signature looks like before you send it off so that you can make adjustments. Now that's a wrap for how to create and add a business email signature in Gmail and Mailbird. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you find that this video could be helpful to someone, be sure to share it with them.